Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Valentine's Day. I'm actually going to be uploading this video on Valentine's Day so you guys can use this makeup look that I have on right now as your inspiration if you guys would love to. But I came up with this Valentine's Day look for today's video because today is Valentine's Day. Well, not today, but when you see this video, it's going to be Valentine's Day. And I actually used the Modern Renaissance palette from the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have not dabbled into this palette on camera. For a while now, so I figured I'll just take it out and use this on camera for you guys. I did wear this makeup look or this eye look really a couple of weeks ago and I did post it on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, be, be sure you guys do so because I do post a lot of makeup looks on there. But I did wear this eye look specifically a couple of weeks ago and I'll insert a picture somewhere on the screen. The product I use on the picture is different from the product I'll be using for this video but for the eye look I basically use the exact same palette and it basically looks the same thing but yes I absolutely love how this makeup look turns out you guys can always use falsies if you would love to but for today's look I just basically piled on my It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara just to create that falsies looking effect I do have falsies and I was going to use falsies for today's look but my lash glue is kind of old so I don't want to risk irritating my eyes just to you know use the lash glue so I do have to purchase another lash glue but I do love how this makeup look turned out I think it's just beautiful you guys can definitely use this as your inspiration for a date night with just significant other if you guys are single that's perfectly fine because there's nothing wrong with being single on Valentine's Day you guys can always wear this when you guys want to go out with your girlfriends on Valentine's Day or you guys can always sit down on a couch with a full face of makeup look and do a Netflix kind of show kind of night so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look if you guys did please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys are new to my channel welcome my name is Rama thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video I really do appreciate it and if you guys have not done so already please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and also hit that notification bell so you guys can always stay posted whenever I upload a new video on my channel if you guys would love to see how I came up with this girly pinky beautiful look for Valentine's Day then just go ahead and keep watching hey guys so I already did my eyebrows and applied tape to the outer corner so we have a nice sharp crisp line for our eye look I'm first going to go in with the Modern Renaissance Eyeshadow Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm mixing those two shades, Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange and I'm buffing that all over my crease area. This is just going to act as our transition shade. Next I'm taking this beautiful shade called Venetian Red and I'm just going to pack on this color on the outer corner and I'm slowly bringing that towards the middle of the lid. And I'm also going to buff that a little bit towards the crease area but I'm not going above the raw sienna and burnt orange if that makes sense and then I'm going to go back to raw sienna and burnt orange and I'm just going to buff out those edges next I'm going to take the Tarte Shape Tape to carve out my crease and I'm going to start from the inner corner and slowly bring that concealer towards Venetian Red and I'm doing one eye at a time so the concealer doesn't dry out and I'm going to take a flat shader brush, dipping it into this beautiful, beautiful pink metallic baby pink vermeer shade. And I'm going to switch my brush with the Morphe setting spray and I'm just going to take that shade from the inner corner and letting that meet with Venetian Red. And I, lo I know it looks harsh but then we're going to go back to Venetian Red again and I'm going to buff out those edges so they don't look too harsh. This Vermeer shade is just so beautiful, perfect for Valentine's Day or any date night. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the tape off and I'm going to apply a tiny little wing ever so slightly, the most skinniest wing I've ever tried to apply in my life. And I'm taking the Wet n Wild Mega Slim Skinny Tip Eyeliner to do so and I'm sorry if I'm out of uh, frame because my mirror was on the other side so I'm looking on this side so yeah my mirror is a little too tall for this camera so for my face primer I'm first going to take Dr. Brandt Luminizing Primer and then uh, I'm going to top that with the Cover Effects Blurring Primer I only apply the Cover Effects Blurring Primer, primer along my T-zone area where I have the most biggest pores for foundation I'm taking the Make Makeup Evolution Conceal and Define foundation in the shade F5 and I'm just gonna 
put it all over my face and then buffing that with a foundation brush. I did put my foundation brush with the Morphe Sunny Spray so it's a little wet and it's not too drying. This foundation is not drying at all but I just like how my foundation looks putting my foundation brush with the Morphe Setting Spray or any setting spray. I have been loving this foundation so much it's crazy. So for concealer, it's nothing new. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm just gonna highlight the usual spot and then I'm just gonna buff that, buff that out with the Beauty Sponge or the Beauty Blender and I did put my Beauty Blender with the Morphe Setting Spray. If you guys have not seen my foundation routine, um, I'll have that link down below and I'll also have that on the card on the screen. I'm going to set my concealer using the NYX HD Finishing Powder in Banana and I'm also going to set the rest of my face using the Maybelline, loose, Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in 20 Light Medium. And then I'm going to spritz my face again with the Morphe setting spray just so all the powders melt together and just be merry. I'm going to go back to the eyes and I'm going to line my waterline using the Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil in Bed First Espresso. And then I'm going to go back to Venetian Red and buffing that out using a flat definer brush. And then I'm going to buff that out with the Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange using a pencil brush. Just gonna smoke that out just a tad bit. And then I went back to Venetian Red just to tight line that a little bit because when I was buffing that out, the Venetian Red kind of went away. And then I took Vermeer and Primavera and I mixed those two together to highlight my brow bone and inner corners. And for mascara, I'm taking the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. And I'm just going to pack that on my upper and lower lashes. I didn't apply falsies because my lash glue was expired. So I'm just, I'm just packing this mascara on. This does give you a voluminizing and lengthy mascara. Uh, lengthy, lengthy lashes. So it's a really, really great mascara. So for my bronzer and blush, I took the Casey Home Butter Collection. And I'm taking the Butter Bronzer and the Bronzer. And I'm just going to bronze up my skin. And then I took the Butter Blush in Copper Cabana and I'm just gonna dab that all over the apples of my cheeks. And then I put my face again with the Morphe Sunny Spray and then for highlight I'm taking the um, Wet n Wild Highlighter in Blossom Glow. And then I'm gonna put my face again one last time with the Morphe Sunny Spray. For my lips, I took the Clinique Quick Liner for Lips in Intense Cosmo and I just put that all over my lips. Just filled my lips with it. And then I topped it off with the Colourpop Ultra Glossy Lips in Moon Child. This was the collaboration with Kathleen Light. And yeah, that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you guys again so much for watching and don't forget you don't have to be taken to have a good valentine. You can always hang out with your friends or have a Netflix kind of day on your sofa. So yeah, happy valentine's day you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy your valentine's day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.